driving up into the mountains, gonna do some fishing. Maybe a little bit of photography, analog photography that is. Uh, you like how I'm dropping those keywords so I can uh, fit into the niche on YouTube? Today's analog film vintage photography is gonna be a little bit unfocused. I've just picked a blue line on the map and I'm gonna wade down it and, uh, and see what I see. I have uh, been following this one guy called Sot Blind Lamp, I think. Sot Blind Lamp, I don't quite know. Anyway, he's on Instagram and just awesome photos every day. And I commented on one of his photos and I was like, how the hell do you shoot enough to maintain this kind of consistency every day? And he said he shoots every day, uh, which made me feel kind of like a slacker. So whatever we see, we're gonna photograph, get some good, good, good Instagram fodder here. That's basically what it's all about when you're a analog vintage film photographer in 2020. It's just about feeding the gram. I think we're coming up on our first stop here. Uh, no, I was wrong. All these curves look the same. This is a hairpin curve and uh, I've been wanting to photograph it, but I don't quite know how I'm going to pull that off. And we got this tree right in the way. Um, but over that way, it looks a little dangerous. Well, uh, I thought I would climb up here, uh, but I can't really make it, so I guess I'm gonna go around the other way. All right, shutter is open for 60 seconds, uh, and I'm really trying hard not to fall off this hill. Once again, the shutter is open, 60 seconds. And they're gonna stop right in front of that waterfall, aren't they? No, there they go. Cool, wonderful. It's already a car over there. Yeah, I don't mind if they drive by, I just don't want them to stop. Now I've forgotten when I started counting. Great. And the shutter is open. So, um, huh. my foot is about to fall off. I mean, seriously, I'm hanging on by just this, just this foot, and it, it really hurts. This is not good. I still got, like, 45 more seconds. All right, we're going to come back for that in a minute. We're heading up here. There's this little trail I found. Um... We'll see where it goes. Oh, isn't that nice? A nice little brook coming down from wherever the hell it comes from up there. Yeah, okay. We're done here. Looks pretty cool up there, though. Damn it, y'all. Get out of my background. So I'm going to take this little shot just to prove I was here. Um, I don't like these brightly colored leaves right in front of the stream, and I'm tempted to rip them out, but that would violate uh, Leave No Trace ethics so we're not gonna do that me and my stupid ethics get back in the damn car and drive away come on how long you, you never seen a waterfall before what the hell they're still there they're still there and this log this log is really wet I mean I have my waders in the car I don't know why I didn't put them on before I came up here I was just like oh I won't need them you know why I'm never going to be a successful YouTuber is because I hate people too much. Like, no one's going to want to watch me complain about these people in the white truck that haven't moved. How long does it take to take a cell phone picture of this waterfall? Seriously, my exposures are two minutes long. You can't get it done sooner than that? And I know the minute I open the shutter, they're going to start trundling up the hill back to their truck. Like, I don't, I don't want to, like, take the picture and then, you know what I mean? Fine, screw it, we'll Photoshop it out. There they go. Yep, turn on your lights. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. No big deal. It's only cost like $3 a frame. Yeah, go ahead. Have a good day. All right, shutter's open on this stump here. We're probably going to lose the point uh, just in the in the leaves up there. Probably not going to be too distinct, but that's okay. Lately, I've really been thinking about going large format 
and this situation is exactly why I don't. I've already shot 10 frames today, so that would be five film holders worth. So that's like five film holders, all that weight. And then I wouldn't, I mean, what are you, only, I'd only carry 10, right? I don't know how many film holders people carry, but um, then, you know, somebody parks in your shot and you're screwed. And we've made it into the clouds. I put a roll of film in my camera, I got 12 shots. If you're shooting large format, every time you load your camera, you've got one shot. Well, I guess you've got two if you turn the uh, film holder around. Film, the film, you load the film into holders, and then one holder holds two pieces of film, but you gotta take it out and flip it over. Uh, so we're talking like old-timey cameras with the bellows, that sort of thing. The images that you get from these cameras are astounding in their detail. However, they're a pain in the ass. And there's also the time factor. It takes so much time to load those film holders. And when you're gonna spend most of your day stuck on the road behind someone who's never seen fog before, time in the woods matters. This is the life. The shutter is, where's my camera? Where's my, the shutter is open. I am waiting hip deep in water that must be like, what? 50 degrees maybe? And now my phone is wet and my hat is wet and my fly box is wet. So my plan today was to start at a trail upstream and wade down to the next trail and then hike back out. And uh, it's now four o'clock, which means we've got about two hours of light left. I have no idea how far I've gone. So yeah, this is uh, gonna be an adventure. Keep moving on. Yeah, I have no idea where I am. In theory, uh, I would have waded into familiar territory by now. Uh, so, I mean, I don't think I'm on the wrong river or anything, but I do kind of wonder if maybe my distance reading on the map wasn't off a little bit. So I have found this trail, if you can call it that, uh, which is faster, but it is a little bit uh, concerning because I'm gaining a lot of altitude relative to the water. So that just means I gotta, at some point, go back down. Oh, and it's raining. Site for sore eyes. Okay, I recognize this place. First time I ever found it, I was bushwhacking down from that ridge up there. And that sucked. So I take this shot every time I'm out here, and uh, one time, the first time I ever tried to take it, I forgot my cable release, and the second time I forgot my light meter and the water was up. So this is my third attempt. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be about 10 seconds at F-16 with the Netar. Alright. Now we start the slog up the mountain. It's a good day. A little tense there for a minute. It's gorgeous out here. The Kruger brothers were right. Carolina in the fall. They really need to put an escalator in here. Anyway, we got two rolls in the bank. I've made it back into the clouds. So, I hope this video will be populated with smoldering hot vintage analog film photos. Uh, if it's not, I'll give you your money back. Thanks for watching. Keep the ends out for the ties to find. You guys remember when I was making fun of those people earlier driving slow in the fog? Uh, yeah. Well, anyways. Have a good one.